May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. March 26, 2024, Tuesday of Holy Week A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus had said these things, he was troubled in spirit. And he bore witness by saying, Amen, Amen, I say to you, that one among you shall betray me. Therefore, the disciples looked around at one another, uncertain about whom he spoke. And leaning against the bosom of Jesus was one of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved. Therefore, Simon Peter motioned to this one and said to him, Who is it that he is speaking about? And so, leaning against the chest of Jesus, he said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus responded, It is he to whom I shall extend the dip bread. And when he had dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, son of Simon. And after the morsel, Satan entered into him. And Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those sitting at table knew why he had said this to him. For some were thinking that, because Judas held the purse, that Jesus had told him, by those things which are needed by us for the feast day, or that he might give something to the needy. Therefore, having accepted the morsel, he went out immediately. And it was night. Then, when he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, then God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him without delay. Little sons, for a brief while, I am with you. You shall seek me, and just as I said to the Jews, where I am going, you are not able to go, so also I say to you now. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus responded, Where I am going, you are not able to follow me now. But you shall follow afterward. Peter said to him, Why am I unable to follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered him, You will lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you. The rooster will not crow until you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How can we shift our perspective to see life's challenges as opportunities for God's glory to be revealed, just as Jesus did before his crucifixion? Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. John 13 verses 31 to 32 Jesus speaks this line about himself being glorified, immediately after Judas leaves the supper, to go forth to betray him. Jesus had just finished washing the feet of his disciples, and soon he would finish the Last Supper, go to the Garden of Gethsemane, be arrested, beaten and crucified. And this was to all take place through the betrayal of one of the twelve. Yet rather than speak of these pending events in a fearful or anxious way, Jesus points to the glory he will receive through them. Everything in life has the potential to become an instrument of the glory of God. Even our sin can end in God's glory when we repent and receive God's forgiveness. It will not be our sin that glorifies God, but his mercy poured forth from the cross upon us that gives him glory. The same is true with the events of Holy Week. When looked at from a purely human perspective, what Jesus endured was tragic and horrific. One of his closest companions betrayed him. The religious leaders of the time betrayed him. The civil authorities betrayed him. 
and all of the disciples except John fled in fear as Jesus was betrayed. But Jesus did not look at any of this through human eyes alone. He saw it all from the eternal perspective and clearly taught that all of these seemingly tragic events would end in his glory. When we commit ourselves to the following of Christ, we can be assured that we will also share in his cross. We will experience the sins of others, encounter mistreatment, and have to endure various sufferings. The question for us all, as we have these encounters in life, is whether we will endure them in anger and despair, or with the hopeful confidence of our Lord. Again, everything in life has the potential to become an instrument of the glory of God. Nothing in life has the power to steal away their glory when we keep our eyes upon the will of God and His power to use all for His glory. Reflect today upon your call in life to see everything from the divine perspective. If you are upset, angry, despairing, or confused at times, know that God wants to bring clarity and grace to every situation. He wants to show you how you can share in his divine mission of transforming every evil into God's glory. Seek out the ways that your life must give glory to God in everything, especially those things that seem incapable of being used for good. The more an experience in life seems incapable of being used for God's glory, the more that experience is capable of giving true glory to God. Let us pray. My glorious Lord, you brought forth good from all things. Even the grave evil of your betrayal was transformed into a manifestation of your glory. I offer to you, dear Lord, all that I endure in life and pray that you will be glorified in all things and that my life will continually become a manifestation of the glory due your holy name. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.